Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary Hua. I'm the head of retail and CPG strategy here at Snowflake. I'm joined by two of our senior sales engineers, Craig and Craig. Yeah, pleased to meet you everyone. My name is Craig Collier and I'm a principal solution architect working for Snowflake and focused solely on Azure. Hi all, I'm uh, Craig Dickman. I'm a senior solution engineer. Uh, I've been with Snowflake for a little over two years. I have been part of the major accounts program, sold some large customers here at Snowflake, and now I'm part of the uh, partner organization supporting Accenture. Great, and just as a quick agenda, we're going to discuss some industry trends today in retail and consumer product goods. We're gonna talk about how the key business drivers are influenced by data and analytics, and we'll also give an introduction to the Snowflake Data Cloud and Craig and Craig will show you a live demo. Thanks so much for joining us today and we'll get started. So as more companies realize the value of the data cloud and how they can unlock analytics for their business, our traction within retail and CPG has exploded. We now have hundreds of customers across every sub industry in retail and CPG and most of the household names of brands within your own home and categories that you love to shop in um, are using Snowflake as their data platform of choice. The industry has been in an intense phase of transformation. So within retail and CPG, we've been under immense pressure to adapt and meet those evolving consumer needs while ensuring speed, convenience, and quality to the end customer. And especially right now during the pandemic, COVID-19 has pretty much upended the retail industry. Um, it's caused our industry to really reevaluate the business models in the face of physical store closures and indefinite phases of market uncertainty. And these abrupt shifts have really left companies scrambling to effectively serve their customers um, through other channels that may not have been their preferred channels of delivery. From a CPG standpoint, traditional business models are no longer guaranteeing that reliable growth. And we're seeing that shipping products at scale um, is giving way to new business models that include direct to consumer, subscription sales, subscribe and save, making consumers' lives easier in the process. So to compete in this arena, everyone in our industry in retail and CPG has to have a 360 degree view of who their customers are and the products that they'll buy. So getting into what the Snowflake Data Cloud is. Um, at Snowflake, we have a platform that's across clouds and global. Um, and that means that we've got a pretty wide network of retailers and CPGs. Um, and not only that, but also the partners, suppliers, consultants that support those companies, all part of this data cloud on Snowflake. Um, and so starting with that first level of data, there's basically three main rings of data that we service in retail and CPG at Snowflake. The first is that internal first party data, the point of sale data that retailers have, that's that rich customer transactions data that CPGs always want. Um, and so whether a retailer is trying to learn more about their customers, manage their inventory levels more efficiently, they'll need that point of sale data to build the analysis and send that back over to CPGs. And when it comes to partners and secondary sources in the data cloud, there's a mutually beneficial relationship that exists between retailers and their CPG partners, in addition to the data service companies that service both sides. Um, and so not only is the first party internal data on the data cloud, but also that second party of data as well. So the consultants, the uh, contractors, the partners, the, the data service providers, all of those companies make up the data cloud. And lastly, we have the third party ecosystem of data. So um, this would be, you know, weather data, COVID data, all of these different data sets that are necessary for retailers and CPGs to bring in um, additional data to enrich their first party data, um, but also to create those insights on inventory, on customer analytics, um, on finance, on supply chain that is so uh, important in getting down to servicing the end customer. Um, so as you can see here on the slide, we have multiple different marketplace partners um, from credit bureau data all the way to weather data and foot traffic data. And lastly, of course, we have household uh, purchase data as well from omnichannel data providers like uh, Numerator and Ibotta. 
Uh, and so all of this is what makes up the data cloud. But I think what would be most impactful is for you to see uh, how this works live. Um, and so I'm going to now turn over the mic to Craig uh, to walk us through a live demo of how Snowflake works. And uh, we want to really talk to you a little bit about how one of our customers, Kraft Heinz, is leveraging the data cloud to really propel their business into the future and really enable themselves to digitally transform themselves. So I have Craig Dickman here who worked on the account early on, and he's going to help walk us through some of this, uh, some of the data cloud and what we have to offer and some of our feature sets. Uh, so Craig, please take it away. So thanks, Craig. We're going to go ahead and jump into the demo now. Uh, what we're going to show today is uh, a retail data set, and then we're going to show how we can bring data sets in through the marketplace and join with that data to give you a good overall picture for your retail analytics. Uh, so we'll take a look at the uh, retail database first, and there's a number of tables in here, fairly sizable data set. Uh, there's lots of ways of getting data into Snowflake. We can load data into Azure Cloud Storage. From there, we can stream data into Snowflake with Snowpipe, or we could even stream data into Snowflake with Kafka. So there's multiple ways of getting data into Snowflake. Once we've got that data in here, then we can actually bring data in from the marketplace and join that together. So right now, we'll probably mostly work in the retail sales orders table today. I'll give you a quick look at what's contained there. So in the re industry retail table, We've got sales order ID, sales date, quantities, uh, department category, and some country information as well. And so we'll go ahead and run some queries against that. And I'm going to do that in Snowflake's new Snow Site inter interface. So we'll click over to that. And we can start running queries right from here. Uh, I'm in that retail data set. I'm using Demo Warehouse. The uh, Demo Warehouse is just a extra small, so it's very, uh, very small warehouse, one node of compute. And so let's go ahead and get some information out of that, that data set that you might be interested in. So I've got total revenue by department here. And you can see cereal is my uh, top, top money winner. And I can easily turn that into a chart in Snowflake, which is super handy. You can see I've got just a typical bar chart here. And if I want from here, I can actually add that into a dashboard or I can download and share that with people. So you can, the cool thing about Snowflake is you can easily and quickly get insights into your data. Let's look at a couple other things here. Quantity by department. So we can look at number of items sold for each department. Uh, soda and Pop is our big seller there. I can easily build a chart off of that, just like I did with the previous one. Look at revenue by category. So dairy is obviously our biggest revenue winner, produce and packaged goods. And then I can look at quantity by care category. So these are all interesting things that you might want to bring in from your data reset. Produce is obviously my biggest seller. Uh, not my biggest money winner. So we, we can find that out really easily. So let's say I wanted to actually get a deeper insight and I wanted to bring in some weather data. So with Snowflake, I can actually go out to the marketplace. I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to marketplace. And before I find the weather data set, I'll show you around a little bit. So uh, this is showing all categories. Let's look at like financial data sets. So we've got S&P Global data sets in here. We've got fact set data in here. We've got uh, DEMIS data. So these are some common data sets. And there's obviously quite a few data sets available. Uh, we even have the Snowflake quarterly financial statements available. So you can actually browse the marketplace and get data sets that might be pertinent to join with your data to get deeper insights. So here I am in the weather. I'm going to go ahead and pull down the weather source data. If When you click on a, a marketplace tile, it'll actually bring you to a deeper thing where you can get more information about it. So I can see what's in my sample data set here. And they even actually provide some queries at the bottom that might be helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and click Get Data. Once I do that, 
the data is now shared in my Snowflake account. So if I click on View Database, I can see all of the data sets I have here in the middle column, including my industry retail data set. Now I have a new one. I have weather source data. So the weather source data is primarily shared as views. We call these secure views. If I look at Climatology Day, I can get some more information about this view that's shared with us, including the columns in here that might be relevant to me. Let's go ahead and run a quick query here. And go back to my worksheet. Find my, so we're gonna look at precipitation for the state of New York for 2020. And let's look at this in a nice chart view. Switch this to a line graph. Date. So now I can look at per day as I scroll across here all the precipitation values for the state of New York. So now I can look at, I can bring this together with my data set and see how weather may affect sales. And then let's, you know, with COVID being in the news today. I want to go ahead and bring in a COVID data set and see how that may be affecting my trends. Well, let's go back to data here. We'll go back out to the marketplace and I'm going to search for COVID. There's quite a few different data sets out here that have COVID analytics. And we are going to use today, we're going to use the star schema. And this has the same, you know, example use cases, sample tables, et cetera, that are included in here. We're going to go ahead and get data. I'm going to rename this to star schema. I hit create database, just like we did before. And then view database. So now in my list of data sets, I build my industry retail. I now have star schema. This is my COVID data set. I have my weather source data down here. So this data is instantly shared with your Snowflake account. And this is what makes it really meaningful is that we don't have to go through the process of FTPing files around, exporting and importing data, the things that we've done historically to move data between uh, different sources. And this can be taken a step farther. So we're looking at the public data, public data marketplace today, but you can create your own internal data exchanges to exchange between business units you can create your own data exchange to exchange data with your partners and suppliers. And this becomes a really powerful tool. So there are quite a few number of tables that are shared with the uh, star schema data. We're just gonna take a look at one today. So I'm gonna go back to my worksheets and back to my queries. And I'm just gonna look at new COVID cases per day for the state of New York. Uh, we'll do a chart here. And so this is really interesting because you can see the spike in March that happened, that initial spike in New York. New York did a pretty good job of kind of clamping down on things. And the summer was fairly decent. And then in the fall, you can see another huge spike. But that data is coming down. So in really interesting thing is we've got data in here up through February 21st, so just yesterday. So this data, as it's updated in the share, is automatically updated in your Snowflake account. There's no need to refresh or do anything on your side. You're just, your data is automatically updated with the share. And so I brought all this stuff together into dashboard to hopefully make it a little more meaningful. And we'll take a look at that last. So I've got my top 10 departments by sales here on the left, and I can click to show more. I I want to look at more of the list. So here's my dashboard that I put together around all the queries that we've been running. Uh, you can see here on the upper left, the top 10 departments by sales amounts of 2020. This is one of the queries that we looked at. But where it gets really interesting, I think, is where we can start to see trends in the middle box here, the sales channel by month. So if you look at January 2020, a large proportion of our sales were in-store versus online. So we are over a million in store, 155,000 in line. But as the COVID cases started to ramp up in March, you can actually see in March, the trend go the other way. So 
in-store sales went down and online store sales went up. And you can see that trend continue throughout the summer. And then in August, we even had a little bit larger spike in the online sales, and that's probably due to the weather. So in August, we had a big spike in rain and precipitation in New York. So more people are buying now online versus going into the stores. And so by bringing that weather and COVID data together with my retail data, I'm able to gain deeper insight into what's happening and why those trends are occurring. Okay, and one last thing I want to show you before we wrap up today, the demo, is the ability to share. So I can, once I build this dashboard, then I can share it. Um, and I can do that with a link, send that to somebody, or I can share it directly with them. But if I go to the link now, I immediately get my dashboard. So with Snowflake, Snowsite, and Marketplace, you're able to bring all those data sets together, be able to create a dashboard and quickly send that out to somebody to gain deeper insights into your uh, data. So Craig, can you tell me a little bit about how Kraft Heinz is using Snowflake's data cloud to digitally transform itself for the future? Sure, thanks, Craig. Um, you know, Kraft early on in their journey was very interested in the data marketplace. Uh, even during the proof of concept, we did some shares with a few data providers including Nielsen and a an analytics aggregator out of the UK called Atheon Analytics. And that really sold Kraft on the Snowflake Data Cloud. Going forward, they've added COVID data sets, they've added weather data sets, um, and a couple other providers. So they've really, uh, they've really bought into the data cloud and data marketplace in that way. Thanks so much, Craig and Craig, for that live demo. That was awesome. Um, and on behalf of everyone at Snowflake here today, thank you all in the audience for joining us today at Microsoft Ignite. That's all from us for today. And thank you so much and have a great day. Mm -hmm.